On this video, I'm going to show you how to import images and media into your database. So over here, you see the song tab is selected. You have all your songs here. I can select from them. I can right click. I can edit them, preview, etc. And you have your Bibles here, your images. So there's nothing in images. There's nothing in media. So images are what we can use like for opportunities. We can kind of incorporate those all in, or if you ever have a picture, backgrounds, different things you want to have before or after the theme. So first thing we do, we're just going to drag a couple songs over here into the order to show you. Now, so to add an image, I'm first going to click on the Images tab and make this smaller so I can see it. If you're on Windows, you can drag it to the left and it'll pop up like that. And now I have my image already here. Now what you're going to need to do, let's say you have the image, uh, you download it from the internet or it's already on a USB drive. The first thing you need to do is actually put it in the correct folder. So you need to start, go to your File Explorer. Now I'm going to go this PC or my computer. I'm going to go to C, Program Files, x86. This is for Windows. Scroll down to open LP. Now you can see I've already created a folder called images. To create a folder, just hit home, then click new folder. But create a folder called images and do the same thing on each ministry computer. This will make your life so much easier because it'll be consistent. Now I'm going to open up images. Now you can see there's nothing in images. Now what's important here, so I'm going to take this image here of Lily a while back. I'm going to move it to here. So first it needs to move to this folder. So now the image is in the folder. That's good. So now I can drag this to the side. I'm going to open open LP back up. Now so images are selected. I'm going to take this image, click, drag it over. You can see the plus sign there. Let go. No group. Boom. Now I have my image there. Now it's important that you first move it to the computer. If you drag images straight from the USB, it will work. But as soon as that USB is unplugged, the images will look back to that USB to find the image. It won't be there. The image won't work. So by putting it on the computer first in the OpenLP folder in images, it'll now be there permanently. So now I can click that image. I can drag it over. And so just like if I want to play a song, you double click. If I want to play an image, put it up on the screen. I double click it. That one's upside down, but you get the point. That's there. Now, same thing for media. Very simple. You first have to download a program called um, VLC Media Player. You'll see it right here. It's a free program for Windows or Mac. It's what you need to play video. So first download that, install it. Now when you go to Settings, Configure OpenLP, go to Players, you'll see here the VLC is checked. Once you've downloaded it, it enables you to check VLC, leave VLC as your default player. That is what you need to play pretty much any form of video you can think of. Um, come back in general for the primary output. If you have two monitors plugged in, which I don't right now, you go to the screen. You want to uh, make the monitor for output to secondary screen so the first one can be um, for doing exactly what we're doing right here and take off a splash screen. All right, so for media, let's do the same thing. So I'm going to go back into start, file explorer, this PC, C, program files, x86, look for open LP. Now you can see I already created one called media videos. So you'll need to do that for that one. So you move your home, new folder, media videos. Now again, media videos is empty. So now I'm going to take the um, video I have here, move to media videos. This is of Lily pushing a cart, I do believe. So now I'm going to click media. You can also click here and go to open once you have it in the right folder. That'll work too, but I just prefer dragging. Um, drag it over. Now you see it says image.mov. You can also rename it before I recommend that, that we know what they are. Drag that over. So now you can see I have the upside down picture here. Double click it, good to go. Now for the movies, the beautiful thing about OpenLP, is you can double click a movie and it's Can you let go, Abby? Can you push it, sweetie? So now here's the wonderful thing about OpenLP. I want a song, I can pick, I can pick what part of the song, pre-chorus, chorus, and it'll automatically go. I want to pull up an image, I double click, I want to pull up and play a movie automatically, I double click. Can you let Switching between programs making it all confusing. Now, as you can see, I only have one monitor right now. So with two monitors, this screen that you see right here will always stay on the first monitor. Everything that's on the projector will be in this bottom right corner here. And then your choice of what to pick from will be in this top right corner right here. So now I can just pick what part of the song I want. So that's how you import media, and that's how you play media. Very, very simple. And then if you want to save a set list, so you could save it with the, the video, save you know with the song here, the image there. You just file, save as. I prefer to, to do like the date of the service. So maybe it'd say, you know, Merced XA and then the date, you know, January 15th, 2015 or 2016. Very simple. That we can come back to it. So yeah, that is how you do media. That's pretty much everything on OpenLP. 
Um, very simple. More questions will come up, but I just want to give you a good basic grasp of how to operate OpenLP. Thanks so much.